Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a product review for you. Um, the product that I'm going to be reviewing is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. Now this is the one for coloured hair and specifically it's deep treatment. It's for coloured hair in need of love and I'll just read the back to you. It says, our unique formula with Australian wild peach extract is an amazing concoction that takes only three minutes to help transform dull dry hair into vibrant luscious yumminess. The indigenous Australians used to grind up Australian wild peach kernels to use as a form of hair conditioning oil. So it says that um, after you've washed your hair, you just put this into damp hair, leave it for one to three minutes, depending how long, how, like, how bad your hair is. Um, and then it says, ideally use in a bath with good music on and candles lit, which I thought was quite cute. But um, I got sent this by Lisa. Lisa put this in my swap box. And... Um, my hair just lately has been awful because of the bleach. It's my own fault. And then I bleached it and then I cut all the bad off. And then um, because of the style that I now have, I've been using a lot of hairspray to keep it poofed up. And of course, the next morning it's always sticking out. So then I have to straighten it. And that's the worst thing you can do. Do not straighten your hair when it's got hairspray on it, even if it's just residue, because my ends are all just fried yet again. But I can't cut it because it'll be too short. So um, I have... I used this this morning, but I recorded before I did my hair, then I recorded after I'd done my hair, and then I recorded after I put it up. But um, it still, it feels really, it feels nice actually, and it wasn't quite as uncontrollable today as what it normally is, and I even blow dried it today, which um, I don't normally do, because I don't normally need to, my hair's that thin that it doesn't take that long to dry naturally, but um, I did blow dry it today and it wasn't all out here it, so it did help and that was just after one use so I went to Tesco today because I was going to get the big bottle of that and I saw this one and um, this is the same as this I mean they're both three minute miracle but this one is for coloured hair and this one is called a reconstructor and this is a deep conditioner for damaged hair which is what I've got and on the back of this one it um, it says that it smooths split ends and roughen cuticles help transform dry damaged hair into manageable and shiny locks in just three minutes. I did leave that other one on for three minutes, probably more than three minutes actually, because I tend to wash my hair first and then I put the conditioner on and then I do everything else like washing and blah, blah, blah. And then I always rinse my hair conditioner off last. Um, so it does get a good time on there. So I bought this one, like I said, this cost me 4 99 which I thought was a little bit pricey, but... I'm not going to use it every single time I wash my hair. I probably wash my hair on average twice a week because I don't like to wash it every day because then you're washing all the natural oils out. And if you're prone to greasy hair, the more you wash it, the more it's going to be greasy. Um, so what I tend to do is I'll wash it. Like I washed it this morning, so I now probably won't wash it again until, say, Wednesday. Today is Sunday. So I'll perhaps wash it Wednesday. And in between, I'll either just put it up or, I'll, like, today I've just got it up. I've not straightened it. All I've straightened is this and this. That's it. Um, so I use dry shampoo or I'll poof it up and use hairspray and, and whatever. So I can get away with not washing it every day. So what I'm going to do is one day a week, I'm going to use either my um, blonde shampoos or my colour correcting shampoos. I've also got a herbal essence like nourishing moisture one which I might use and then on the second day I'll use whatever shampoo I, I grab hold of and I'll use this. So just because I don't want to use this every single time because I don't want my hair to become used to it too much because the trouble is if you use the same shampoo and conditioner all the time you end up creating a barrier on your hair. I got taught this at a hairdresser's like loads of years ago and um they basically said to me that if you use the same shampoo, let's say you like herbal essence, if you use the same herbal essence shampoo and conditioner, every single time you wash your hair, your hair will create a barrier um, using those products and the effectiveness of it will start to wear off. And I did find that that was true. So you're best to sort of swap it up a bit. If you have got a favourite shampoo, by all means use that all the time if you want to. But every, say probably twice a month, 
just use a different product and that way your hair will not get used to the same brand because you might find that if you're using the same product all the time it's not working as well as it should do and that is because it's created this resistance against itself sort of thing so then you have to buy more and then it's not doing anything and you're just wasting your money so like I said I don't want my hair to get too used to this stuff because I don't know what else to use on it and because I know that this works I don't want to ruin sort of this little get up that I've got going on so I kind of lost the plot a little bit <laughs> but yeah that's what I'm going to do anyway so like I said I've got the videos coming up afterwards like three little tiny clips of before during and after sort of thing well not during because I was in the shower and nobody wants to see me naked so but yeah um so I hope that this review has been informative. Like I said, I've not used this exact product yet, but this is pretty much the same as the colour, except it just doesn't have the colour protection in it. So I know that this is going to work on my hair. But um, yeah, I hope you, that you've enjoyed this review and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so my hair looks crazy because I'm about to have a shower, um, which you can probably hear. But I'm going to be using this. So I thought I would show you well, it's not, I'm not going to show you how to put it on because obviously I'll be naked and nobody wants to see that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be using this that Lisa sent me, so I will let you know what it's like. Okay, so I've just got out of the shower and um, this is what I'll show you, that I have hardly any hair. <laughs> but um, when I got out and I've like towel dried it and stuff and it feels really, really soft. So at the moment I'm loving this product, but we'll see what my hair looks like after it's been dried and styled. Okay, so this is after I've blow dried it and it still feels really soft. I mean, I have put a couple of other products on that I always put on anyway. I've used um, some Andrew Collins leave-in conditioner. I don't even know if you can still get this. I'm hoping you can because I love it. Um, and I've used an Avon Damage Repair Split End Mender. And then my Avon Heat Spray. But... Um, it still feels really soft. I mean, you can see the damage in my hair. You can see like, where all these bits are sticking out. They're all dead ends. But um, I'm going to do something with it now. I don't quite know how to style it today, but I'm going to style it and see what it's like afterwards. Okay, so I decided to just put my hair up. Um, I've discovered that I can do my little poofy thing. Um, my fringe, I did cut my fringe again the other day, so it's a little bit short in places. Um, and I've also done my makeup. I quite like this makeup actually. It's very natural for me. I've just used um, the Benefit on my lid that Lisa got me. And then I've used a navy and a green out of my sleek palette just to do this. I've got no top liner on. But look, you can see that my lashes are actually going... Excuse up my nose. Um, they're actually going up today. Kind of, anyway. Um, and that's just with my Urban Decay mascara. Um, and then I've got Freckle Tone on my lips by MAC. And I've got the MUA Great Lips Lip Balm over the top because they're a perfect match. So, and then I've just got this cute little leopard print bow that I made. So, yeah, that's what I look like today. Um, but I'm definitely going to get some more of this Aussie stuff because I absolutely love it. It's really, really nice. So... I'll see you all later. Bye.